Tesla is one of the fastest developing companies in the market. The best part about this company is that it not only develops itself, but it also develops society as it progresses. The manner in which it's been coming up with new sustainable technologies is incomparable to many other companies in the market. Today, we'll be looking into a recent update by Tesla. Will this new pattern be the game-changing moment for Tesla? Stay tuned to find out more. Make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to this channel. We will be posting new videos each day, so make sure you never miss out on a single one among them. All these videos will be very important for you when it comes to the right choices for your investment or for knowledge that you've been trying to acquire. We value knowledge, therefore we keep an eye out for what exactly is happening in the greatest companies. Tesla has been in the electronic vehicles department for a long time now. Though it was only recently that we started hearing about this company in such volumes, the research and development processes for this company have been going on for a long time. One of the main reasons for this unprecedented success is the technology they use and the manner in which they apply these technologies into their cars. Tesla has changed the entire perspective of cars by bringing out the things that would have been unimaginable maybe just a decade ago. The motive of making the Earth a more sustainable place to live and dwell is what makes them even more special. Tesla is a company that ensures that everything they build has the highest quality and provides maximum efficiency while keeping the environment safe. Carbon footprint is something that this company is extremely worried about. In fact, it's also decided to stop using Bitcoin as mining and transaction processes consume a lot of energy. The amount of energy that's being used makes a lot of wastage which is not really something the company likes. Tesla also decided to reduce 75% of the cost by reusing the water that is used during the process. Currently, the company is on a mission to develop high-quality batteries for the electronic vehicles that it produces. The demand for batteries has been really high, and Tesla's also been able to create its own in-house batteries. The new factory established in Berlin for the 4680 production seems to have hit a few hurdles in between and therefore will probably see some delays before it starts working. We can expect the factory to start only in 2023 and not in this or the next year. There are high chances that this delay could have been due to the pandemic that has been rampaging the world very badly. In fact, the case in some countries like India is still something that under normal circumstances would have looked impossible to us. Very recently, Tesla got into a patent with a Canadian battery startup. The sources suggest that we will be seeing around three different patents being acquired by Tesla with regard to battery development. These are as follows. Innovative methods to generate cathode materials for rechargeable lithium-ion batteries. Methods to obtain cathode materials for lithium-ion batteries and process for recirculating the chemical solutions from spent rechargeable lithium batteries. These technologies that have been acquired from the company will bring in a lot of efficiency for the same in the production processes. The total cost for the entire patent transfer was just $3. They made this transaction with Spring Power International, the Canadian startup we've been telling you of. There have been several changes in the EV manufacturing processes. The aim since then has been to make cleaner energy using much fewer resources and efficient charging capabilities. Their aim was also to increase battery density and longevity. The number of sustainable aims that Tesla's come up with has the potential to set an example in the industry about the changes that a company could make in the environment. This, in fact, is much more important than any other form of luxury that any other company may provide. With the company now having acquired the startup, Tesla is now ready to start working on producing new cells with six times more power and a pretty decent range. This will change the scheme of development by other companies. The supply of these batteries was another major issue that could be full of hindrances. This was solved through partnerships with Panasonic and LG Chems. Even though we've not heard a lot about it from official sources, we did see a lot of former ex-Spring employees changing their job descriptions and titles on LinkedIn. If these things add up, we will be seeing a lot of changes in the manner they're going to perform. We will see some massive developments and cars with a lot more features than they themselves have. In its past, we've seen Tesla acquiring a few other companies like Maxwell Technologies. This company was based in California 
and used to produce more batteries. Highbar Systems is also a Canadian battery-making company. It's based in Ontario and has proved to be a good investment for Tesla. In the meantime, Tesla is relying on the productions in the facility in Northern Carolina. This facility will be used to build the Model Y crossovers, and hence there are high chances for the battery productions to start in mid-2021. Apart from the cars, Tesla is also producing electric trucks. Elon Musk is one of those people who has great community support. The best example of this is the fact that his tweets have been able to influence the prices of cryptocurrencies. The 54 million followers he has on Twitter have now turned out to become an army of Dogecoin lovers. A lot of people rely solely on the tweets that he creates on the channel to make a lot of decisions. Elon Musk recently also has decided to stop accepting payments in the form of Bitcoin due to the amount of energy the same uses. He also added on by saying that he will be looking into more stable and less resource-consuming alternatives. One of them could also be Dogecoin. Perhaps is it a direct hint towards that? Either way, that is something about which we will speak in some other video. Let us currently look a bit more into Tesla. One of the main components of Tesla is efficiency. Tesla has been trying to create batteries that are much more energy dense. This is the reason why it bought the latest patents that we've been speaking of throughout this video. There are certain challenges that they must have had to overcome through the patent. One among them was the lithium metal and anode-free lithium batteries. They were the cause for the prevention of widespread adoption of the technology. Overcoming this would have been the greatest achievement. This could be done by adjusting certain characteristics of the lithium metal and anode-free battery. Such kinds of systems would have allowed an increase in the use of the devices. Tesla has been working relentlessly to achieve this objective. The new electrolyte technology claims to be able to solve this problem. Let us explain how. The electrolyte solutions include both lithium difluorooxalate borate and lithium tetrafluoroborate, along with solvent components. This combination allows for the use of lithium metal or anode-free rechargeable batteries. There are more advantages to this, as this will help in increasing the battery retention capacity of the cells. To achieve something really significant, Tesla will have to surpass the number of 900 watt-hours per liter to be able to make a significant mark in the market. This is actually the mark that the others have been able to reach till now. This means that we'll get a range of around 520 miles along with the potential to make small-scale electric aircraft. While all of this is being achieved, another major thing that has to be kept in mind is to keep the battery production within the required levels to ensure stable supplies. If the supply fails, there are high chances that the entire plan to electrify transportation could fail drastically. This could be followed by a huge gap of time when we actually will be able to see such technologies being applied and available for public use. These times, therefore, are very crucial to the companies in the electric vehicle fields, especially for Tesla, with the hopes we all have on it. We hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure you leave us a like and also subscribe to this channel for more daily content. We will frequently be posting, and we do not want you to miss out on any of these informative sessions. So make sure you turn on the post notifications and stay tuned to this channel. Till we meet again, let us know in the comments below about what you think could be the future of batteries. Will we be able to see those flying small-scale aircraft as taxis anytime soon?